study the bible in one year good morning it's holy week and we are going through the synopsis gospel or the gospels and seeing what happened to jesus christ in the garden of gethsemane i think that garden experience is so important and you know we kind of rush to the cross and kind of jump over what happened to the garden but remember adam lost the his uh, authority and his power in the garden so guess what jesus had to do for us he had to win the battle in the garden first before he got to uh the calvary and so on um, yesterday i did matthew's version uh, Mark version and Luke's version. And then today we're going to do John's version. Now, I love John. I love John. Matthew, Mark, and Luke are synopsis gospel. They're very similar. John is a little bit different. I love the book of John. Okay, we might we might spend some more time in this book because I think it is so powerful. It is also in the book of John. We have the seven I am's, okay? We're gonna take a few days and we're gonna study that coming up soon. And so in John chapter 18 is where we read Jesus John's account not the apostle John, this is John, the younger disciples, John, the disciple that lo God loves the most, the same John that wrote first, second, and third John, and the same John that wrote the book of Revelations while he was on the Isle of Patmos. You know Revelation. This John is the same John that wrote that, okay? So we're gonna read his account and we're going to see tomorrow or maybe later today, I will probably do Jesus's um, trial. And then on Friday morning, I'm gonna do the seven last sayings and um, we'll go from there, okay? I wanna thank you for your love and your support for my channel. Be sure to subscribe. Thumbs this video up, share it out if you can. Listen, let's try to get a few more people. Don't you know anybody that will love to study God's word? Share this out in your email, on your social media platform, and let's get a few more people in here. I want to thank you for your love and support with my new book series, Moments of Gratitude. Oop, they're cleaning the street. I'm Moments of Gratitude available on Amazon, my dating book. Um, Times of guys, you might meet my in Christ I am book. I mean, my naked wife book, and in Christ I am. This book is an excellent book, especially for this time of year, this season, because we're we're talking about the resurrection season. We don't celebrate Easter, okay? Uh, we celebrate the death, the burial, and the resurrection of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Let's flip on over, John 18. John chapter 18, I will be reading from the New King, from the King James Version. It might sound a little differently if you just read the regular New King James, but we'll end up in the same place. John 18, when Jesus had spoken these words, he went forth with his disciples over the brook, Cedron, where was, where was a garden, into which he entered, and his disciples and judas also which betrayed him knew the place for jesus oftentimes resorted there with his disciples judas then having received a band of men with the officers from the chief priests and pharisees cometh there with lanterns and torches and weapons so you notice it says that Judas know where Jesus was going to be, okay? G and Pharisees and Sadducees are the religious people, religious sect, okay? Uh, Jesus, therefore, knowing all things. So Jesus knew what was going to happen. He knew what Jesus was about to do, Judas, okay? Knowing all things that should come upon him, went forth and said unto them, Whom seek thou? Whom seek ye? They answered him, Jesus of Nazareth. Jesus said unto them, I am he. And Judas also, which betrayed him, stood with them. As soon then as he had said unto them, I am he, they went backward and fell to the ground. 
Okay. That those are the people that say people can't fold out in the spirit. <laughs> Then asked he them again, whom seek ye? And they said, Jesus of Nazareth. Jesus answered, I have told you that I am he. If therefore you seek me, let those go, let these go their way, that the saying might be fulfilled, which he spake of them which thou givest me, have I lost none. Then Simon Peter, having a sword, drew it and smote the high priest's servant, cut off his ear, his right ear. The servant's name was Melchias. Then said Jesus unto Peter, put up your sword into the sheath, the cup which my father has given me. Shall I not drink it? Then the band and the captain and the officers of the Jews took Jesus and bound him. And led him away to Ananias first, for he was father-in-law to Caiaphas, which was the high priest. I'm going to stop right there, okay? Because before this, maybe I should go back a little bit. I wanted to read that part about what happened when they came to arrest Jesus. Okay? Let me go back to chapter 17. I love the book of John. Oh, I love this book. I think I'm going to do a study in the book of John. John 17, let's go back a little bit. These words spake Jesus and lifted up his eyes to heaven. Father, the hour is cometh. Glorify your son, that thou the son also may glorify thee. As thou hast given them power over all flesh, that he should give eternal life to as many as thou hast given me. And this is life eternal, that they might know thee, the only true God, and uh, said, I have glorified you on earth. I have finished the work which thou givest me to do. And now, O Father, glorify thou me with thine own self, with the glory which I had with thee there before the world began. Let me change the end of this. I have manifested your name unto the men which you give me out of the world, thine... They were, yours they were, and you gave them to me, and they have kept your word. Now they have known that all things whatsoever has, you has given me, okay? For I have given unto them the words which you gave me. You hear that? He gives us his word, and they have received them, and have known surely that I came out from thee, and thou have believed that thou didst send me. I'm going to come back and do this part because this is where Jesus prayed for the disciples. You know how they said that our father is the Lord's prayer. No, it's not. <laughs> All right. So I wanted to touch on this little part about what happened, what happened in the garden. Okay. And we're going to spend some time studying John, oh, John 15 is one of the first sermons I teach. I am the true vine because he talked about how he is um, the true the true vine. Let's flip on down to uh, verse 21, that they all may be one. Jesus prayed that we all be one as thou, Father, art, thou art in me and I in thee, that they also may be one in us, that the world may believe that thou hast sent me and the glory which thou hast given me i have given them that they may be one even as we are one so his desire is for us to be one okay he don't want us to be all over the place are celebrating the death of burial and resurrection this is a time for us as believers to come together as one in faith in jesus christ because that's what he wants for us. He don't want us to be all over the place. He don't want us to be uh, having different mentality. He wants us to have one mind in him. If you flip on back over to John chapter 13, we're going to come. I think I'm going to just do a book study on the book of John. I'm telling the book of John is powerful where he was washing the disciples feet and the last supper. And even in John 14, he says, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man comes to the Father uh, but by me. 
Okay, I love the book of John because John was the disciples he says that God loved the most. Amen. In verse uh, John 13, 31, therefore, when he was gone out, Jesus said, now is the son of man glorified and God is glorified in him. And this is when Judas was going out because as you read, you will learn that Judas sold Jesus for 30 pieces of silver. Amen. All right, beloved, I'm going to go ahead and run. I might come back later, if not later, tomorrow. And we're going to read, I'll probably just choose one version of the trial of the Lord Jesus Christ. And I want to show you how Jesus was tried, examined like the lamb in the book of Exodus, because Jesus is what? the Lamb of God. And so the Lamb in the Old Testament is a picture or a foreshadow of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. I love you. I have to run. I hope that you are excited about this resurrection season. We're going to be doing the seven last sayings on Friday morning. I will probably do that live. I'm not sure if I'm going to do it live. I love you. I love you. I love you. Have a great day. Remember my books on Amazon. In Christ I Am is an excellent book for this season uh, of the year. Let me know what you think. Love you. Bye.